All right, people. So CM Punk is coming back again to AEW. Again. At this point in his career, I mean, he's honestly overrated, people. Did he do some great things back in the Attitude Era? Or, I mean, in, in the uh, PG Era. Yes, he did. I mean, the Pipe Bomb, the Summer of Punk, his 434-day, uh, you know, title run, his heel run. All, all of that was great shit. His, his shit with Heyman, you know. But now he's older. He left for seven years. He, and then he just comes back. And honestly, him leaving for seven years does tarnish his legacy. I mean, that is seven prime years of his career that was just wasted. And CM Punk, I, I mean, it, he's always been like this this god almost, you know? Like, is he great? Yeah, he's great. But I don't think he's on the level of a Stone Cold or a Rock or, or an Undertaker or somebody like that. Just because his time of being great was so short. And then he left. Again, like, he just went out and left for seven years um and and part of that probably has to do with you know he was in the pg era he was here in the time when when there was a lot of shit going on but now he comes back he's in his mid 40s he's not the same as he was he's um you know it clearly took a i mean not a drastic step down from his in-ring work but Definitely a step down, and part of that probably has to do with age and the fact that he's been off for so long. We thought that AEW would be a breath of fresh air from WWE. We thought that, you know, like WWE took all these stars from the 20 years ago. They were washed up, put them in the main event. Well, now AEW is doing the same thing. They're reaching back to the heyday of, you know, to some of the great moments 10, 15 years ago and trying to bring back people like CM Punk and put them in the main event. It might draw for a pay-per-view or two. They might get a pop here, but it's not going to lead to long-term success. They should be working on developing the stars of the future like MJF. Uh, you, know, hopefully, you know, instead of having one MJF, they should have three or four of them hopefully but instead they're focusing on punk and he is just like i said treated as a god now i mean he is overrated there's no doubt about it in my mind he is overrated i was a big punk fan back in the day but he's had his time it's time to move on to to the newer stars of the generation i'm not opposed to having punk featured but he should be used to put new talent over at least i mean at this point in his career again he's on the way down he's on the the hill down and his past run did not see him put any new talent over punk too came up in the time where the iwc was just becoming a big thing you know he he peaked in 2011 that's just you know pretty much when the iwc was booming and becoming a big thing and punk was like the first breath of fresh air that that you know the the marks or the whatever the fuck you want to call them the people in the IWC can grab on to Cena was being shoved down our throat uh, and and punk was that first thing of fresh air and and people now 10 or 15 years later as we move forward they don't forget about that they can't move on they they keep focus oh, CM Punk CM Punk's coming back i mean when are we going to move on when are we going to build new stars i mean i mean I would probably say 80 to 90% of the main event shit in, in wrestling focuses or involves on stars of the past. Stars that don't have, that are past their prime. It's it's really sad that AEW is doing the same thing. I, I mean, most of their big names are, you know, past their prime. They, they, you know, Jericho, he's he's over 50. Punk. I mean, they had people like Sting on there. I mean, it's it's really sad, the the state of wrestling now. Are there some good things? Yeah, but I mean, for the most part, it, it's really sad. You you don't see an industry like like wrestling that that reaches back twenty years to thirty years ago and just puts people on television in main spots in the company that are clearly obviously past their prime because they can't build any new stars. I mean, it would be like a movie using an actor that was... It would, it, would, it would be like a movie putting Jack Nicholson in the main role just to get views for that one movie instead of like, hey, let's let's put an actual actor in there that could, you know, 
create good movies for, for, for the next 15, 20 years. I mean, it's all short-term thinking. There's no thinking ahead in, in, in wrestling anymore. It's no effort to build new stars. And it's really becoming apparent now as, as they can't really use people from the Attitude Era. I mean, they fucking almost killed people because they, they kept, you know, giving these people money to bring them back. I mean, people are being dropped on their motherfucking heads. People almost dying from heart issues. Uh, Triple H, under you know, you know what I'm talking about, Undertaker and Goldberg, you know, shit like that. Sting, fucking almost dying. I, I mean, it, it, it's it's embarrassing. Ric Flair's out there, you know, wrestling at 75 years old or whatever the fuck when he should be in a retirement home, probably. I mean, it's 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 a sad state that this that this industry's in. It's one of the reasons I don't waste my time with it anymore. I've lost enough brain cells watching this shit. And again, you don't see another industry like this that that consistently uses people that that are clearly not there you know that don't have the talent anymore they just put them on tv to try to get a to, to, to try to get a lot of views for one night it's embarrassing and you know hopefully uh something happens where this stops like there needs to be an end put to this so there you go people let me know what you think about cm punk coming back uh, I'm, I'm honestly at this point a little bit sick of hearing about CM Punk. I think he's overrated at, at this point in his career. Did a lot of great things back when WWE was a pile of shit. It's, WWE still is a pile of shit for the most part. You know, there's no doubt about it. But let's not suck his cock over every little thing he does just because he did some great things, what, 12 years ago? I mean, it's time to move on, people. Times change wrestlers the the wrestlers in the main spots change cm punk is what 44 45 he's not going to be around for a long time i mean it's time to look at some wrestlers who were in their 20s and 30s that have what it takes to be on top time to invest in them time to help them grow time to put them in main event spots so that wrestling actually has a fucking future i don't watch this shit anymore i don't honestly really give a fuck but at least you know i would still want to see the product be around in the next 20 years so that i could you know at least tune in or watch on youtube for five minutes a week because i didn't watch it for you know a good amount of time you know I, I would i would like to see it you know be halfway decent so there you go people let me know what you think about uh cm punk coming back